All right, guys, uh, just got the uh, intercooler mounted on the Acura here. This is it. Um, looks pretty good. Uh, I did uh, weld up some brackets on here. Not the best looking welds, but hey, you know, it's gonna hold. So that looks looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So, And then looked at uh, some of the piping. Uh, Chris and I tried to go ahead and figure out kind of how these are gonna go and where it's gonna land on the turbo there. So um, obviously this this kit doesn't uh, didn't fit this car, so we're gonna have to make some stuff work, uh, which should be fine. All right, guys, I got a uh, section of pipe on here now. Uh, Chris and I looked at this, got one uh, piece on here, and obviously we're gonna have to do some cutting on some of the pipes uh, to make that work out. So I'm gonna add, uh, add the bevel back on there figure that out try to get everything uh, lined up um, but it's looking pretty good um, so the obviously this pipe kit um, wasn't designed for this car um, it's designed for a later model Civic or Del Sol or whatnot um, so we're gonna have to cut some stuff and make it work they originally want this pipe to go down through here and go up so uh, I'm thinking we're gonna try to put it down through the factory hole and try to to work this out uh, this way so hopefully and then we're gonna essentially cut it there and run a straight pipe over um, we got some other pipes I can use and cut and stuff may have to add a few more couplings which I really don't like because you got more places that can leak but uh, we're not gonna be running crazy boost on this anyways so it should be fine um, but that's where we're at so far um, it's looking pretty good pretty soon I got a um paint the valve cover red or polish it or something and then i'm going to end up uh doing the wastegate we're actually going to run it through the hood so and it's actually going to be sticking up about right uh, so we're going to land that in the hood and uh do some some other crazy stuff so should be cool all right guys so we got uh this piece here cut and that should actually land pretty pretty good there uh, we do need to add the bevel to this and i'll show you the way that we cut it so we used uh, the piping cutter here and this is a a large one it goes up to, to two and a half inches but but here's where we we just cut this one off so it does kind of scar it up a little bit but it's not going to um affect it any because you're going to cover it up with a couple anyways but the best part about using a pipe pipe cutter like or pipe cutter like this uh is you don't get all the crud on the inside of the pipe so if you cut it with a bandsaw or with a, a hacksaw or whatever you're gonna end up with a bunch of crap in there so you got to clean all that out but you need to wipe them out anyways but but that's uh that's it for now all right guys uh to do the bevel on the end of the pipes you can actually make your own tool i saw this uh, on one of the forums uh, but you use an exhaust clamp and you'll actually weld that onto the end of it here so you weld that there and then on the top you weld on a heavy duty washer of some kind you will just clamp that in there and then that allows you to clamp down and actually put that bend in it so i'm curious to see how that works um so we're going to try to put that together and see how that works and i'll show you that all right guys here's the uh the tool there and again don't look at my ugly welds but uh that's pretty much it weld the uh washer to the top weld the exhaust clamp to the bottom and you put the pipe in there and squeeze down on it and it makes your bevel for you all right guys let's try it out uh this is it let's see how it does Move it a little bit around, clamp it on. It's definitely doing a, a bevel on there. I don't know if you can see that a little bit. It's definitely making a little bit of a bevel. So tighten it up just a little bit, see if it'll do a little better.
Oh yeah, look at that. That's not too bad at all. It's definitely got a, a bevel to it. Might take a little bit more working. All right guys, that's the edge. There's definitely a bevel on there. I mean, you can make it <clears throat> probably even more prominent. I mean, it doesn't look as good as a factory edge, but uh, it'll definitely keep it from sliding off. So I think that works pretty good. All right guys, there's the turbo uh, hook, hooked up there. Pipes are done. That's the pipe that I just fixed, the small one right here. That's the one I just did, so. So that pipe's on. Now I'm working on the other side. And this is the pipe I've got going in, which I had to cut it off because normally it would go this way and go up under about right there. Uh, but the way I've got things ran, I think it'll work better like this. Uh, and this bevel actually came out pretty nice. Um, you know, for the most part, it's definitely gonna hold. All right guys, uh, this is what it looks like uh, so far. I uh, just got this one pipe kind of halfway fitted now. And I'm gonna have to maybe cut out some of this panel right here uh, to allow this to turn upwards just a little bit more. Um, Cause I'm gonna try to meet it into that pipe. I'm gonna have to cut off the other pipe there. Uh, but hopefully I can get those to meet together a little e more evenly there. And then I've got this pipe going up through here blow off valve will go there and obviously since this would normally be here kind of going down this way on the the normal motor um it would fit a little bit better so what i'm going to do here is probably cut like right there and then we'll put a piece of pipe into here so that should should work so anyways feeling like having a little fun tonight so i think i'm going to move in to the next part of the hood here we're going to go full out sticker bomb so i feel like sticking some stickers right now. All right guys, so the first thing that you wanna do before you start sticker bombing anything and going full JDM is you wanna take off any wax or grease, or anything, and you can spray it down and uh, then just go back and start rubbing that out. Make sure that you cover the whole hood. This stuff does dry pretty, pretty uh, quickly, so. Make sure you get everything sprayed down and uh, everything flattens out pretty nicely. All right, this is where we're at for tonight. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I got, uh, got a bunch more stickers left, uh, a couple different piles here still to go on. Um, but all in all, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, pretty happy with the way it's turning out. So, uh, Still got to work on the rest of the pipes, get that done. Um, but uh, should be good to go. So that's where we're at right now.